dirty word in a politically correct America. Now, this is a pretty long article, and I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. You can check it out up on the nworeport.me, which is our news blog site associated with this YouTube channel. But I will read a little section of it here just to, to give you an example of how the name Jesus is hated in America and throughout the world. Um, people hate that name. And, you know, a lot of these people don't even believe in Jesus. But yet, when you mention his name, it stirs something up in them. You have to really wonder why that is. Anyway, the following is an excerpt from a speech that Rand Paul gave earlier this year. There is a war on Christianity, not just from liberal elites here at home, but worldwide. And your government, or more correctly, you, the taxpayer, are funding it. Evidence of this war on Christianity is everywhere these days. The following are just a few examples of what I'm talking about. An elementary school in North Carolina ordered a little six-year-old girl to remove the word God from a poem that she wrote to honor her two grandfathers that had served in the Vietnam War. The Ohio State banned Christian pastors from using the name Jesus when they open up the daily sessions with prayer. The use of the name Jesus was also forbidden in all prayers in the opening sessions of the North Carolina State House. Last year, a federal appeals court ruled that prayers before commission meetings in Forsyth County, North Carolina that include the name Jesus was unconstitutional. Earlier this year, a Florida Atlantic University student that refused to stomp on the name of Jesus was banned from class. A student at Simone State University was ordered to take off a cross that she was wearing because it could offend someone. A teacher in New Jersey was fired for giving his own Bible to a student that did not own one. He was actually fired from his job because he gave him a Bible. An open-air preacher in Illinois was recently threatened with arrest for scaring people. He scared them horribly because he was simply uh, preaching the gospel. A high school track team was disqualified, and I reported on this story here on this channel earlier this year because one of its uh, runners made a gesture thanking God once he had crossed the finish line. And finally here, volunteer chaplains for the Charlotte uh, Melkenberg Police Department have been banned from using the name Jesus in their public prayers. I mean, this is happen all, happening all across the country where these chaplains are being banned and, and fired or, 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 or sent out. What does all this tell you guys? I mean, this stuff was prophesized in the Bible. Why, do, why does everyone hate the name of Jesus so bad? Because the name of Jesus is is powerful. Jesus is real. He came here. He died for our sins so that we may have an opportunity to be redeemed and be with him for eternity. Now, it speaks of this in the Bible, guys, in Mark 13, 11 and, and 13. And this is just one example. Uh, and when they bring you to trial and deliver you over, do not be anxious or beforehand what you are to say, but say whatever is given you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit and brother will deliver brother over to death and the father his child and the children will rise against parents and uh, have many of them put to death and you will be hated by all for my name's sake but the one who endures to the end will be saved and let's go on over to Luke 22 where it says blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the Son of Man, which is Jesus. That's in Luke 6.22. Christians, stand your ground, keep your faith, and continue to obey what Jesus tells you to do. Now, before I wrap this up, I want to give you a good another example of what's going on here. Usually on the comments section of uh, different videos, if I people make comments, for example, and uh, one guy made a comment about the video, and I simply said, well, thanks for your comment, God bless. Well, this person got offended and came back later when I simply said, thanks for your comment. God bless. He got offended and posted that I was throwing my religion down his throat and how that made him angry. 
because I simply said God bless to them. This is the sad state that the United States is in now. Where you can't even mention God or Jesus without people getting red face mad at you. This is why this country is falling apart. This is why this country will continue to fall apart unless it turns. And there's a great revival that happens here in this country, which I don't think it will. That's the only thing that's going to save this country is a great revival. But I really don't believe that's going to happen. Stand your faith out there, guys. We are living in some really, really dark times. And the only way we're going to get through it as believers in Jesus Christ is to continue to believe in Jesus Christ. Continue to confess that publicly. Continue to do his will as he instructs us to do. That is the only way any of us is going to make it through these dark times that we're in. Thanks for watching. God bless.